Attempted murder requires specific intent to kill the victim. So what happens when a defendant commits one act of violence that affects multiple people? Can that defendant be found to have intended to kill them all despite the singular act? The case of People v. Smith addressed this question. Karen A. drove her boyfriend, Ronell T., to a friend's house. Their baby was sitting in a rear-facing car seat directly behind Karen. She parked at the curb and waited after Ronell got out. At that point, Karen's ex-boyfriend, Jermall Smith, walked up to the car, saw the baby through the window, and said to Karen, quote, Don't I know you, bitch? Unquote. Ronell returned to defend Karen, but backed off after seeing a handgun in Smith's waistband. Ronell got in the car, and Karen started to drive off. Smith then stood directly behind the driver's side and shot a 38 caliber bullet from a car length away. The bullet went through the back window and Karen's headrest, barely missing both the baby and Karen. The people of California charged Smith with two counts of attempted murder, one for Karen and one for the baby. The jury convicted Smith on both counts. On appeal, Smith challenged only his attempted murder conviction as to the baby, arguing that the evidence failed to establish that he intended to kill the baby. The Court of Appeal affirmed, and the California Supreme Court granted review.